Two people are dead after a plane crash in Lee Summit, and tonight police are working to find out exactly why it went down. 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield shows us what happened. Well, police tell us no distress or mayday calls were made before that plane crashed. Right now, Lee Summit police are working with officials from the FAA to determine where the flight originated from and confirm who was on board. Unfortunately, both souls on board the aircraft have perished. Lee Summit police are investigating a deadly plane crash that took the lives of two people on board the single engine four seat plane. Occasionally, a hard landing, a plane will skid off the runway here, but I couldn't tell you the last time we had a fatality at this airport. Police say the pilot tried to land on the south runway, but instead turned and crashed 150 to 200 yards west, leaving a trail of debris behind. One of the wings was torn off, and there's just other parts from the plane that were impacted and then slid to its final resting spot. Um, um, there were several people apparently on the field when it happened. A couple of folks who tried to render aid to these folks in the aircraft. The plane is registered to Tico Air LLC in Des Moines, Iowa. Calls to that number went unanswered. Lee Summit is a non-tower airport, meaning pilots have to see and avoid other aircrafts when taking off and landing. This plane did have a radio, but police say no mayday or distress calls were made. Right now we're working along with the FAA as well as our criminal investigations division just to conduct a thorough investigation and gather those initial facts so that we have a full, uh, full understanding of what happened. An investigator with the NTSB is on scene tonight. Representatives with the FAA or investigators with the FAA are expected to arrive here on the scene tomorrow. As for the victims, police are still notifying their family. We should be able to confirm their identities tomorrow. Live in Lee Summit, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.